Let me ask you a personal question. If I asked you to think about your golden years, your retirement, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Do you shudder just at the thought of it because you know you're nowhere near where you need to be for it? Or do you rest comfortably knowing that you're going to be able to enjoy those days carefree with a nice cash cushion? How about if we get some insight this afternoon to make sure that you're in that latter category? With us this afternoon for another round of Financial Gems with Jewel, this is financial specialist Jewel Robinson with Jewel Robinson Insurance and Financial Services. Thank you so much for Thank joining Thank you for us today. having me again. All right, I want to crunch some numbers with you. Let me ask, is, is 65 still considered the ideal retirement age? Absolutely. 65 is still the ideal retirement age. We're going to use a few estimates to kind of crunch some numbers this time. Okay. So the average lifespan for a man right now is right around 77 years, and the average lifespan for a male, for a female, is 81 years. So we're going to use those statistics along with the average household income of $60,000. Okay. So when we crunch those numbers, this is what it looks like for your average retirement. So the average retirement for a male, given the fact that he'll be in retirement for 12 years with an average estimated salary of $60,000 is right around over $70,000 needed to maintain his current lifestyle. Se seven, 700,000? 720,000. 720,000, okay. Yeah. All right. So then uh, a, a, a realistic, this is a realistic number. This is a man. What about a woman? Absolutely. So for a woman, given the fact that she'll be in her retirement years for about 16 years, mm -hmm. again, using the $60,000 estimated annual salary, she'll need well over $960,000 to maintain her current lifestyle in her retirement years. Okay, so if you have a couple, is that going to change things? Absolutely. So a couple or a joint household going into retirement, you're just going to double the t take the same number. Okay. So the first number of $720,000 plus 960,000 will give a combined income of over 1.6 million needed into retirement, which is a whole lot to maintain your current lifestyle yeah. well into retirement. Okay. So uh, there's a lot of things that come into consideration when you're planning something like this, isn't there? Yeah. So some things to take into consideration when we're um, planning for your retirement are your social security mm -hmm. may be there or it may not. We don't know what social security is going to look like in the coming years, let alone the years that you're going to be in retirement. Your health is something we need to take into, con into consideration because your longevity. So if you just celebrated someone that has the 102nd birthday, then you may have longevity in your, in your life. So also some things to take into effect are your debt, your salary, and the cost of living, which can increase or decrease over, t over time going into your retirement. Also the fact is if you're gonna be taking care of someone. A right. lot of my clients are taking care of someone in their retirement, i.e. their parents or their children, as well as your entertainment. A lot of clients say they wanna travel a lot in retirement. What traveling costs? So we wanna make sure if you wanna travel, whether it's one month, quarterly, or year, that you've estimated those costs well into your retirement. Now I know some people who have retired and had to go back to work. Yes and then retire again. Is there a way to stay in retirement? So absolutely, there are, there are a few key factors that help you stay in retirement when you reach your retirement years. So first and foremost, working with a financial specialist such as myself, who will create a personalized plan, individual to your financial goals, um, will redo your budget. Often mm -hmm. your budget is just for now and not for the longevity going into retirement. Yeah. So they're gonna make sure your assets are properly set up. A lot of times people just have one part of that retirement, i.e. a 401k. We wanna make sure that you have a lot more eggs in your nest than just one asset. And most importantly, we're gonna give you annual reviews. So sitting down with someone I, like myself will make sure that you stay on track and get to your retirement goals. So I'm gonna keep pushing you and keep making sure that you are absolutely growing with your retirement plan and your retirement plan is growing with you. So make sure that you have someone who knows what <laughs> she's doing. Correct. Are your financial gems in order? They could be. There you go. Jewel Robinson, thank you so much for spending time with us this afternoon. Wonderful talking to you. Thank you for having me again. Okay.